Today we are going to see one sum based on trigonometric identities. Now what the question says, prove that under root of 1 minus sin a upon 1 plus sin a is equal to cos a upon 1 plus sin a. Now normally whenever we see a root sign, it is always being said that we need to take somewhere down the line conjugate, conjugate of either numerator or denominator and we say rationalize it. Now today we are going to do by a totally different technique. We won't take LHS, rather we start with RHS and then finally reach to our LHS. So let's see how this can be done. I take my RHS. My RHS is cos A upon 1 plus sin A. Now, what do I see from RHS to LHS? My LHS has a root sign, a radical sign, by which my RHS doesn't have. So what I do so, the very first step, I take this under root sign. In order to compensate this under root sign, what shall we do is, we take square. Whereby which this square and square root gets cancels off, nullify each other. And now we place the entire RHS, cos A upon 1 plus sin A. So students, what we have done? We have taken RHS. Now when we see RHS to LHS, our LHS has a root sign, whereby which our RHS didn't have. So we have taken a root sign, we have in order to compensate, we have taken a square as well. Now what we do so, we split the square into numerator as well as denominator. So it is under root of, when this square signs get split to numerator and denominator, I shall get cos square a and I shall get 1 plus sin a the whole square. Now, after this, I shall once again have a look at my LHS. What I need in my LHS in the numerator, I want 1 minus sin a, whereby which I have cos square a. So what do I do is, I shall say cos square a is nothing but 1 minus sin square a. We all know one property, since sin square a plus cos square a is equals to 1, which implies cos square a is equals to 1 minus sin square a. So instead of cos square a, we have taken 1 minus sin square a. In the denominator, 1 plus sin a the whole square. Now we can always take this as a square minus b square whereby which it turns into 1 minus sin a 1 plus sin a 1 minus sin a 1 plus sin a. In the denominator what we have is 1 plus sin a the whole square which can always be written as 1 plus sin a into 1 plus sin a. Now 1 plus sin a 1 plus sin a gets cancelled off what I'm left off with, I'm left off with 1 minus sin a upon 1 plus sin a. Now if you have a look at my LHS, that's what I wanted. So this is equals to my LHS. Since LHS is equals to RHS, one can say the entire question, what is the entire question? 1 minus sin a upon 1 plus sin a is equal to cos a upon 1 plus sin a. So we have solved this particular sum all together in a different way. Instead of going from LHS to RHS, we have rather gone from RHS to LHS. So that we do not, do not have any problem whether to go with what kind of conjugate, whether to go with plus or minus. This is a totally new different way to solve these kind of trigonometric identities related sum. Thank you.